someone if you underline say heaven open unto me today in the name of jesus heaven open unto me today heaven open unto me heaven open unto me beloved i don't want to talk about heaven opening unto someone it means that there's an additional breakthrough that a person is receiving it's an additional blessing you are receiving it's an additional power you are receiving. it's an additional blessing thank you so much thank you so much we are still active here in the thank you so much we want to say that heaven is going to be open unto someone if heaven is opening unto you it means that additional door has been given you it means that the favor is falling upon you it means that what is not common is coming into your life it means that the glory of the lord is falling upon you it means that there's extra joy coming into your life the bible said clearly in first Samuel chapter 3 verse 1 that during those days even vision was uncommon but because samuel ministered before the lord and was so righteous heaven was open unto him heaven was open unto this young man who couldn't even understand what was going on god was able to minister to this young man this particular year what is not common in your family god is opening the way for you i say this particular year what is not common what is not common in your community god is giving that unto you what is not common in your in your educational field in your academic area in your ministry is going to be so common to you because you humble yourself before the lord beloved when we talk about open heaven we're talking about people that set themselves apart for the lord if you set yourself apart for the lord god is able to open the door for you another key area apart from setting yourself apart living a righteous life is when you pay your tithe unto god that has been a very controversial issue on social media and that's not what i'm bothered with i'm bothered with the voice of god that is triggering what i'm telling you today in malachi chapter 3 verse 10 he said bring your tithe and try me and see if i'll not open the gate of heaven for you bring your tithe unto me and i'll open the gate of heaven for you beloved the lord jesus christ i've come to decree with you and declare with you that this particular year whatever is holding your open heaven must lose it it's compulsory i say whatever is holding your open heaven must lose it for you to be set free so number one when the heaven is open unto you this is what you are going to get just take key note of whatever god has for you when heaven is open unto you, it means every good thing will be yours. Every perfect thing will be yours. So your first declaration with me is that, Lord, I'm trusting you that this year, let every perfect gift be mine. Let me hear somebody say it. This year, Lord, let every perfect gift be mine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, when you open James chapter 1, verse 17, James 1, 17 emphasizes this thing clearly. He said, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Every good gift, perfect gift. So somebody just place your hand on your forehead and say, this year, perfect gift, locate me. This year, perfect gift, locate me. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. I see somebody receiving it. I see somebody receiving it. I see someone receiving it. It will be like a dream. It will be like a dream. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Number two. This is what is going to happen to you. Whenever there's an open heaven, your expectations are met. Whenever there's an open heaven, your expectations are met. Whatever you desire to get, whatever you have prayed on comes to pass. Now, let me take you to the Bible again. Psalm 121. Let's see. I lift up my eyes upon the mountain. Where cometh my help? Your help will not come from north, south, east, west, but it comes from the Lord. This year, may you open your mouth and say, Lord, this year, my help will come from you. Mm, let me hear somebody. Let me hear somebody. Let me hear somebody. This year, Lord, my help will come from you. My breakthrough will come from you. My deliverance will come from you. My joy will come from you. Oh, Lord, Lord. My testimony this year will come from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ, another dimension is that when the 
you know, flat gate is open unto you. One. Third point is this. You have an additional supply from God. He said, when the heavens are open unto you, you will get an additional supply from God. So this particular year, just open your mouth and say, Lord, I need additional supply from you. Additional supply. Additional supply. Oh my God. Additional supply. Additional supply. Additional supply. Additional supply. When the heavens are open, there's an additional supply. There's an uncommon supply. There's a supply that you will not understand the origin of it. Something you have never worked for this year, you will get it. Oh, I believe what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let us go again. Let's go again. When the heavens are open unto you, the next point is that you will learn to nations. You will not borrow. Did you hear that? When the heavens are open unto you, you will learn to nations. You will not borrow. Now, let's go to Deuteronomy. I love Deuteronomy for what it is. And you know, Deuteronomy chapter 1, 2 to 14, tells us, If you obey my command, I am the Lord your God. I will bless you. I will let the basket be full. Your going and your coming will be monitored by the Lord. You will go out and come with joy. You know, a thousand, you know, the, 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 the loving one is that, you know, you, they, they will come against you in one direction, but will flee in seven directions. The verse 7, when you get to the verse 12, then he takes his time to tell you clearly that listen to me, the Lord will open the good treasure for you. When he opens a good treasure for you, then he says that, you know, the heaven to give the rain on the land. And when the rain is given on the land, it will be in its seasons. Then to bless the work of your hand. Then he continues to say that you will learn to nations, but you will not borrow. This declaration, whoever is watching me and listening to me this time, I want you to make it seven times. This year, I will learn to people, I will not borrow. Mm, 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 mm. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep keep saying it. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. I know. I know. I know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you can work and you not see your money. Every time. You have to go and borrow. Every time that to be, you know, you know, taking over your life, you cannot even sleep. But this year, you will not borrow. Sister, you will not borrow. Brother, you will not borrow. My friend, you will not borrow. Your ministry will not borrow. The church will not borrow. You will see the glory of God. Somebody shout and say, Amen, I believe. Amen, I believe. Oh Jesus Christ. Beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, when the heaven is open unto you, there is a good message. Did you hear that? When the heaven is open unto you, you will get a good message. You will get good tidings. You will hear good things. You will hear things that will promote you. You will hear things that will make you shout. I said this year someone is going to shout. You're going, you're going to scream. Not screaming for bad news, but you scream for great things. You scream because God has spoken. You scream because the joy of God is coming to you. Beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't know wherever you are, but may you begin to say, Lord, this year I want to scream for joy. I want to scream because of the miracle you do in my life. Somebody say with me, I want to scream this year. I want to scream this year. I want to shout this year. I want to make noise unto you this year. I want you to believe this year. I want you to believe this year. I want you to believe this year. I believe in this declaration. I believe in this declaration. I believe in this declaration. When the heaven was open unto Jesus Christ, he told Nathaniel, he said, this is a true Israelite in whom there's no deceit. When the heaven was open unto Nathaniel, 
He said, you are the Christ. When the heaven was open unto Stephen, Stephen said, I see heaven open and I see Jesus Christ standing by the Father when heaven is open. When heaven was open unto Mary, the angel came to Mary and said, you are favored. When the heaven was open unto Elizabeth, the impossible came and Elizabeth that was even in her old age conceived. When the heaven was open unto Sarah, that Sarah that was almost 100 years gave birth. This year, somebody, good news is coming your way. This year, somebody, that burden on you is taken away. May somebody, if you are just there in your room, just there in your home, begin to shout and say, praise the Lord. Because this message is for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. But again, when the heaven is open unto you, there's Helen. There's Helen. Total Helen. Total Helen comes to you. The man by the poolside has been my story over the years. In John chapter 5, he had been there for several years. No remedy. But when the heaven was open unto him, Jesus said, pick up your mat and walk. Somebody this year, may you say, Lord, remember me like you remember the man by the poolside. Remember me like you remember the man by the poolside. When the heaven is open unto me, I'll pick my mat and walk. When the heaven is open unto me, my enemies will jubilate with me. When the heaven is open unto me, I'll pick my mat and walk. Beloved, we are still talking about healing here. That when the heaven is open unto you, there's total healing here. When the heaven was opened, Unto this particular woman who has, you know, suffered so many years with the issue of blood. When the heaven was open unto her, she heard a voice to touch the cloth of Jesus, the garment of Jesus, and this woman was healed. When the heaven is open unto you, because all the other locks have been picked from your eyes, you begin to descend. You begin to descend, and your healing will come. May somebody begin. Put one hand in your ear right ear then take it then put another one in your left ear say lord this year i want to hear your voice i want to hear your voice your voice that will lead me to get my deliverance that will lead me to get my breakthrough that will lead me to be blessed that will lead me to be transformed that will lead me to jubilate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I believe in the God that I serve. I believe in the most gracious Father. Thank you, Jesus. Precious one, I trust God for what he's doing. The next point, of course, that will be the last point I'm going to talk about, is that when heavens are open unto you, the lost glory is restored unto you. The glory that you used to have, which has been taken away, that glory will be restored. You know, let me let me pause here and thank the, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, North America, Australia Presbytery. Let me thank them so well. Let me thank the chairperson, Reverend Herbert and Imopo and the council. Let me thank all the district ministers in the North America, Australia Presbytery. You have done so well. Let me come down to the youth's level and thank the youth, one wonderful uh, youth coordinator, Reverend Frank Ado. God bless you. Let me thank, you know, the, the executive, all of you. God bless you. From, from coordinator, from, from the president through to the treasurer. God bless you. Even to the president reps. God bless you. To the locals. You know why? This program that you are doing, every day, not to exaggerate, I get over 500 messages about people saying that we have followed the program and we have A, B, C, D. We have E, F, G, H. And this and that happened to me. I prayed this prayer and that happened to me every day. I'm not, if you are watching me and I've not been able to open your message, then it's because it's in the queue. The program you are doing, the social media you have went, or you, you, you went and you have gone, the social media you went since last year and the social media you are using 
is affecting lives. Lives, and I mean lives. Lives, thousands of lives are being saved. So because of that, I'm basing on that to decree upon you that Lord, because I've set aside my, my life, and since last year we went on this line, on social media, and this year we are going again, and we are on, Lord, for this sake, may you never forget me. Somebody say, for this sake, don't forget me, for this sake. For this reason. 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 Don't forget me. 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 For this reason. Will I ever forget our numerous followers? Somebody like you watching this video, because you have been sharing it, it has been helping people to have their breakthrough. And may God bless you as well for doing this. But I'm still not running away. I'm still not running away from the last point that I'm talking about. Is the fact that the glory in the family that is taken away, that glory is going to be restored unto you. Now, Haggai chapter 2 verse 3. He said, the glory of this house, how many of you were here those days to see the building? The temple. And how do you see it now? It's nothing now. Because the glory is taken away. But he continued to say in the verse 9, which all of you love so much. He said, listen. The latter glory of this temple. The latter glory of this person. The latter glory of this individual. The latter glory of the one on this line. The latter glory of the one watching this video. The latter glory of the one listening to me. Your latter glory will be greater than the former. Somebody, if you are just listening to me, if you are holding the phone, put the phone down and begin to walk in your room. Begin to walk wherever you are. If you are walking by the roadside, be careful. And begin to walk. Put the phone down and begin to walk and say, Lord, my latter glory, my family's latter glory, every latter glory of this home should be greater than the former. I want to hear you. I want to see you through the phone. I want to see you through the phone. That you have left the phone down. The phone is on the floor. And you are beginning to move in your room. And you are beginning to tell yourself that your latter glory will be greater than the former. Let me see somebody begin to clap your hands wherever you are. Clap your hands. If you are, if you are, if you are typing, stop typing. Stop typing. Put the phone down and clap your hands and say my latter glory will be greater than the former. Will be greater. Will be greater. Will be greater will be greater will be greater my latter glory 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 jesus christ i know what i'm talking about my latter glory i'm putting the phone down myself I'm putting the phone down myself. My latter glory should be greater than the former. The latter glory of a Jumpo should be greater than the former. You, the one watching me right now, your latter glory will be greater than the former. Nothing will stop you. The years that we have spent so far, the year we are in now, the Lord is giving you a glory. The Lord is putting his power upon you. The Lord is putting his glory upon you. The Lord is anointing you. Nothing will stop you in the mighty name of Jesus. Precious one in the Lord. I bring today's gathering to a close. Reflect over the things that we have said. Remember, two things will trigger these blessings. Two things. One, you must be righteous. Stop sinning. Repent of your sins. And two, be a true believer. Pay your part. Pay your tax. I speak as a Presbyterian minister. Anyone who tells you don't pay your tithe, that person doesn't want you to be blessed. And that person doesn't pay and doesn't want you to overtake the anointing that God has given you. And so we'll tell you not to pay. But I can tell you, ever since I started paying my tithe, my life has never been the same. God has blessed me. And I continue to be a blessing unto other persons. Pay your tithe. If you are just watching the video, make a comment. I will pay my tithe. I will pay my tithe. Pay your tithe to a church. Pay to a church to grow the church. It's very important. Some people will come and tell you, I'm a man of God. Pay your tithe to me. Pay your tithe to me. Please. Pay your tithe to the church. To grow the church. If you have any gift to give to the man of God, beautiful. 
I pay your tithe to the church. It's very, very important. God has asked me to tell you. When you do these two things, when you are righteous, free from sexual immorality, stay pure for the Lord, pay your tithe. And I tell you, this year, the heaven is open unto you already. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let me hand it down to the youth superintendent to please pick it over. Five days more to finish. I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye. Share the video if you are watching on Facebook. Thank you. Bye.